Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, we are going to generate and save off the DMX fixture profile of our Chauvet DJ Intimidator Spot 360s using the Force 1.0 app. So as always, consult your user's manual. In this case, we are using a 14-channel DMX personality for these fixtures. Now, back into the Force 1.0 home screen, we want to go into DMX profiles on the top. We want to hit the Add button on the bottom and we want to give this a name to start out with. So these are the Intimidator Spot 360s and we're using a 14 channel DMX personality so I like to indicate that there. Total number of channels is 14. All right, channel one and channel two is pan and find pan. So what we need to do here is set the lighting element type to none because that will influence the pop-up menu you'll see in a second. And now we want to add a channel, double click function, this is a pan channel, so select pan under the movement function, hit done. And this is the course control channel, so we want to make sure this is set to course. Add another channel, this is the pan fine control channel, so we want to hit pan and make sure the resolution is set to fine. Now we need to do the same thing on channels 3 and 4 for tilt, so add channel, select tilt. This is going to be course, add another channel. This is going to be tilt, and this is going to be fine. All right, so now channel five is pan tilt speed control. Zero being the fastest, 255 being the slowest. Now we want the Force 1.0 to control all of that itself. So what we need to do here, hit add channel, and this needs to be a static channel. We need to set this to the fastest it can move, and the Force 1.0 will control that speed itself. So if you look under static, you want to find speed, hit done. And the next thing you need to do is set this to a static value. The static value for any static type channels is always going to be listed under this min value column here where you don't see an NA. And in this case, we want to set this value to whatever the fastest is of this fixture. The fastest is a value of zero. So we are all set with the default here. All right, now channel six is a color wheel. That is definitely a dynamic channel that we want the Force 1.0 to control during operation. So under dynamic, you want to look for color wheel, hit done, and this is going to give you a range, 0 to 255. However, if you look at the user's manual, you'll notice that we have individual color control from 0 all the way out to 64. That'll give us value, uh, values associated with white, orange, lime green, etc., all the way through dark blue. So what we want to do is set a range of zero to the end of the color selection choices being 64. Everything beyond that is associated with some internal functions that the Intimidator Spot itself controls and we don't want that to do anything there. We want the box, our Force 1.0, to control everything. Now the dynamic type, you have three options here. 100% active, active during max and mood operation, and active during max only. So personally, I like to set this to the middle button, which is the default. This will guarantee that you have control over the color wheel during mood type based effects and max intense type based effects. So we'll include that as the default. All right, now moving on to channel seven is a gobo wheel. So add channel. This is also gonna be a dynamic control channel. You'll see gobo wheel right here, hit done. And the range here, you want to look at your user's manual. Everything from 0 to 255 looks like valid control options to me. And this is all personal preference, by the way. You can adjust these ranges based on however you uh, like to operate your fixture. For me personally, looking at the profile, I like to utilize the entire range. It looks like it would be good. So 0 to 255 works. And the same as the color wheel, I'm going to leave this as the default under the dynamic type. All right, channel 8 is a gobo rotation control channel. So this is also a dynamic control channel that we want the Force 1.0 to control. So we want to look for gobo rotation. Referring to the user's manual, uh, values from 0 to 255 all look good, and I would like the Force 1.0 to take advantage of those, so I'm going to leave that alone. Channel 9 is a prism. And this is also something I'd like dynamic control over during operation. So we want to select prism under dynamic control hit done. And looking at the user's manual, I would like all 
aspects of that channel to be accessible from the Force 1.0. So I will leave that alone from 0 to 255. And I'll also leave the dynamic type alone just as every other one that we've set thus far. So channel 10 is a focus. We will leave the range between 0 and 250. In dynamic type, I will leave this the same. Then we'll add another channel. Channel 11 is the dimmer. Select dimmer under light control. Hit done. And we want to make sure we select coarse here because there's no coarse and fine control associated with this fixture. Now channel 12 is a shutter. All right, now this is something that we want to set a static level to. The reason for that is because the Force 1.0 will control the light output of this fixture utilizing the dimmer channel itself. We want to make sure that the fixture itself is always capable of producing light and the shutter is not going to prevent that. All right, so we want to select shutter under static. Now you'll notice in the user's manual that if you set this DMX channel to a value between four and seven, the shutter will be quote unquote on. Now, having used this fixture now, I know that that is referring to the light source itself. So if you set the shutter value, which is channel 12 in this case, to a value between four and seven, you'll get light output from this fixture. So we wanna set this value here, since this is a static control channel, to any value between four and seven. So let's just pick six. This will guarantee that the shutter is always gonna be in a position where we can produce light output from this fixture and have the Force 1.0 control everything at its will. All right, so now channel 13 is an internal control feature of the Intimidator spot. We don't want it doing anything on its own. We want the Force 1.0 to control everything associated with this fixture. So this is definitely going to be a static channel. And if you'll notice on the user's manual, a value between zero and seven here will mean no internal function. All right, so in this case, this is control. So if you look at anything that makes sense for a control, uh, control mode, we'll pick that and make sure that this value corresponds to a no function operation with that channel. Zero works in this case. Add another channel and channel 14 is associated with movement macros. Once again, we don't want the intimidator spot running any internal movement macros. We want the force 1.0 to control everything. So this is definitely another static value and we have a movement macros option here. We're going to set that to a no function value. In this case, no function corresponds to any value between zero and seven based on the user's manual, so we'll leave it alone at zero. We are now done. So what we can do is we can save this off. It is saved, go into our DMX profiles, and there's our Intimidator Spot 360s.